Hello guys, I'm back again. So here I'm going to teach you on how on how I did this. So as you can see, um, this uh, AI art comes from my face. So as you can see, these are great blenders based on my face. These are the testing that I did. So this was made in stable diffusion, automatic 11.11. So how well, this artwork? It's great, right? So I'm going to teach you on how I did this. So here are the prerequisites. So of course you need automatic 11.11, web UI stable diffusion locally, installed locally. So please see the description below i have a link on, on how to install this one if you don't have so next one is painted photos to train so so you need uh, 20 photos so three full body images 12 close up images five for chest to head area right so please make sure that no shadows in your face and create uh, angles so that AI will learn every side of your face so also, you need to crop this one into 512 by 512. In order to do that, uh, go to this website, mirrormade.net. So just drag your images here and set this to 512 by 512. And you can adjust it. But since I created them, I shot them in my smartphone using the the one by one uh, template so that's why I don't need to adjust them so once, once it is done just save the files and you can download it so next one uh, you need hugging face account see the description below so third one is you need a hugging face account so go to huggingface.co create an account Link will be, will, will be on the description below and then click the next link this will pop up so just accept uh, check the checkbox and accept repository once that is done click the logo here click your proper name then edit profile then go to access tokens then new token and please remember this name Just copy this one and make this right then generate token so please remember the name you wrote right click the link below uh, collab that research click the link below then if you arrive in this one don't do anything just click file save copy and write so make sure you have a google account which of course you have
once that is done if we show a copy of your link that, that's all right so this just uh, it's straightforward so click this one just wait for it once you see this check mark that's done then go to the next check mark click again okay so once that is done check mark again now here go back to your hugging face go to the two lines again so remember the token you have named earlier so click this one to copy token to clipboard then paste it this here then click play again now once that is done once that is done uh, click the export merge once again that is done just go to the next one make sure to click this one this one just change the this to whatever you want I will name is Kim out put then once that is done just click again now uh, make sure to connect to the drive make sure you, you click allowed now once that is done again go through here and it is very important so for the class form in this person and for the instant form go to your hugging face copy the token you copy the token name I will say change this don't click play so copy this again change this then copy this person and change this once that is done you can now click play now click the border on the left side click make sure you, this one is the same then go to the code then here's your folder so you can just grab them and drag them to this one to this folder so once it is done you don't need to click here because you just uploaded it and then now here's the next one sample prompt change this to Kim to your instant prom it's your instant prom then max string steps make it 8000 then we will play it now now this will take uh, about uh, 30 minutes to 1 hour so make sure to move your mouse from time to time and don't change tabs just keep it here on your collab okay so once that is done, once you see the check mark and you see there's, no, there's nothing wrong. So just click here again to the next step. Okay, once that is done, now if we, now because we will use this on our automatic 11 locally, just yes, send the conversion. When you go to your drive, you will see your folder. 
uh, stability preservation then the folder you name earlier uh, my name is Kim output go click that go to 1000 then as you can see here's the model the model the checkpoint that we need that CKPT this will go to your stable depletion to your local stable depletion so you can download it now once you're done downloading this you can move on to your automatic but before we do that we can now try this one so we can now try this online so just click the next one the inference once that is done go to the next one just click again oh now we can try this so for your prompt um, this will be the same as when we use it on our automatic 11 so let's try a drawing of then please always remember the your talking so game face real is for me game face real and then person so this is important this, this two should be in this order so then person so we can do we can start with this one okay by art Gen. Art gen. Now let's now let's try. So as you can see, it has generated the images. So I think it did good based on my images, based on my face. So I think we did that. we did all the steps right. Okay. So if you don't have automatic uh, 11, you can just do it right here on the on your online collab. So here's a website that you can search for a great prompt. So I like this one. I can just copy this. I can just copy everything then go back to my from here paste it here then change the uh, the character to mine go oh, up the rock go oh, off so game let's start again in face Real person. So let's try it again. Let's. So as you can see, it's the generated one. So some of it are not perfect, but they got the hair, the beard. So. Can we can run it again. It looks good on my end, so I can just copy the checkpoint to our web UI. So since we're happy with the <coughs> with the uh, Results here. We can now uh, make sure you download the checkpoint. So, once you have downloaded the um, checkpoint, go to your directory of this appear stable repression automatic 11. Again, there's an installation tutorial link below the description. So, go to your location and go to models and just paste it once you're done copying go to your run, run, run the web ui dot bot wait for the 
wait for the URL to show up copy the URL go to your browser paste the URL go to table depression checkpoint assuming that you have the latest table depression go to, go to the description below to install for the installation so I will run the so choose the name of the checkpoint that we created once the loading is done here uh, let's try a photo of and let's just run it for the first time let's see if if it recognizes our trained model so as you can see it, it has recognized my face so this changes to a illustration okay. now let's go to lexica.art so you can find your you can find a great uh, prompts here um, just what I would like so let's try this this style so copy from go back to your ano, go back to your type of depression so make sure to change the character based on your token let's see so it did create a great a great um, image of me as a drawing let's generate once more okay let's make the sampling method higher so this negative pump this is where you put things that you don't like to to show up here so I don't like the rebladges but not like us to show up here on my image so you can put it here so uh, that's it that is how you create art using your face and using step depression so if you need more tutorials just subscribe and click the, the notification bell so thank you